So first, I'm sure it's no surprise that I make a little bit of money off my YouTube videos and it's not enough to live off of, don't worry. But uh, thank you everyone for that. It helps me pay for a few school expenses. And the other method that I'd like to share with you today mostly is my buy and sell. Um, I do a lot of buy and sell. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all these things I've bought and I'm going to try and resell. And basically, I'm going to show you what I paid for it, what I'm asking. And if you're interested, let me know. Seriously though, let me know if you're interested in the comments below. Send me a message. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, let me show you what I bought. I'm going to try and show you guys really quickly what I bought. But before I do, take a look under the table here. This is a hint at my 100,000 subscriber video. Um, I'm going to be giving away something. There it is right there, and there's a little shirt on top of that, little hint there. Anyway, no more hints, just stick around for next week. That video is going to be released. So on this table here, I have a whole bunch of inkjet printer ink. Uh, I bought all this at a great price at an auction. Uh, yeah, didn't pay very much for this, and I'm hoping to sell these for all, probably like a quarter of retail value. Some are expired, which is not that big of a deal actually. Some are still good. So it's a great deal if you know how much this stuff costs. If you want any printer ink, let me know. I have lots of it. I have a bit more of it right over here. This is lots of HP and Epson ink. I also have some Canon ink. Now what's in here? These are a whole bunch of military plastic models and stuff. They're all brand new in package. I again bought all this at an auction. Also some of these Century Starships. I paid around uh, four to five dollars each and I'm hopefully, I'm asking around 10 bucks each. Um, inter right here we have two sterling silver bracelets. I paid probably 10 bucks and I'm asking 20. They're kind of heavy and they're real sterling silver. Uh, these, anyone who's into cars or Hot Wheels, uh, buy these from Walmart. They're really hard to find. There's the Toyota Supra, Fast and Furious. And back here, there's also a whole bunch of the Nissan Skyline GTRs. I paid around, well, retail value of $4 for all these. And believe it or not, they're worth around 15, 20 bucks. So I have lots of those if you're interested. I'm not trying to make this into a advertisement video, but you know, I won't pass up the opportunity. I have a little coin collection here I bought from an auction again. Most of this stuff was from an auction actually. A few different ones. A bunch of Canadian pennies and error coins and US Crack 1955, Skull, Wheat Penny. If any of you have been around here since I've had, you know, a thousand subscribers, you know I'm quite the coin collector along with the inventor, so fun fact. I also have a stamp collection, some postcards, albums, just boxes of assorted stamps, some supplies. All of that I paid around 10 bucks, I'm asking 25 or so. All these are Canadian. US dollar is pretty high right now, but anyway. Uh, brand new little speaker here. I think it's called a One Matrix. Didn't pay very much for this, probably like five bucks. It's worth 90 from the store, but I'm just gonna, I'm trying to ask around 20 for it. So as you can see, all this stuff, I'm at least doubling my money. It's a great way to make a little extra cash during school. Uh, these are all new video games I'm about to show you. I bought them all pretty much in one big lot for like $40 or so. $30, $40, I can't really remember. Assassin's Creed 1 and 2 for the PC. This is a limited edition, don't know how to pronounce this actually. Ion, Aeon, I don't even know. It's a, it's a metal case. Everything is there. Instructions, two, two discs, again for the PC. I'm really only asking like five, ten bucks for all these video games I'm about to show you. 
this is kind of cool. These are all vintage uh, PC games, like joysticks and this Tornado joystick for PC 2000, whatever that is. Some of these may be collectible, but I'm just asking on my local Kijiji, 20 bucks for all this. I paid around five or so. Got a few Z boards, whatever those are. Yeah, and lastly, I have a few more video games. Let's start over here. Got a few World of Warcraft expansion packs. I know nothing about video games really, but I bought them because they were cheap. A whole bunch of Super Elf Bowling for the PC. I have six of those, asking pretty much five dollars each for all those things. And then all these games I'm selling for like a dollar or less even each. Like Casino, I won't go through all these. Kid Picks, you know. There's a few cooler ones like Battlefield and Fate, Typing. It was a mixed lot, so I just bought them all, hoping there'd be some cool stuff in here. And there was there was a couple cool things, not gonna lie. But I don't play many computer games myself, so I'm just selling them all off. I think this was one of the better ones I found. Star Wars Battlefront. Anyway, lots of stuff here as you can see. And so basically I buy from auctions and uh, garage sales, um, Goodwill and stuff even sometimes. And so all this stuff, hopefully I'm doubling, tripling my money on it. Helps me pay for some school stuff. And so hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And um, stay tuned for that nice surprise I showed you guys in my 100,000 video. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.